know what's in this. <laughs> Got my nails done. Why do I feel like this has happened before? I feel like my nails are always fresh done when I get my HelloFresh. My nail cycle and my HelloFresh box cycle is on the same cycle. Not my menstrual cycle though. That should be coming in a week. Hey, welcome back to my Anyway, sorry, package was delivered. So um, I have so many life updates. I feel like I might actually just put them in another vlog, but if you've been catching up with my recent vlogs, I've been telling you guys how like, I'm kind of going through like some health stuff where I'm reevaluating everything. I did a full like functional medicine scan, like hella labs, like for my blood, my thyroid, my hormones, my stool. Why was I saying that? Where was I going with that? Yeah, I just feel like every time I turn on the camera, I feel the need to update you guys with like everything since the last time I turned on the camera. But um, I feel like that might be a whole other vlog in itself. So this is kind of unnecessary to say. But nonetheless, it's been a week. Found out a lot of stuff this week when I had a meeting with my doctor. Then tomorrow we leave for Vegas this weekend, which will probably be in the past by the time this is up. It's been a crazy week. So I'm excited to just cook right now. As you can tell by the title, we're cooking today, but I'm kind of nervous because first of all, I've never seen this recipe, chimichurri, Baramundi with lemon carrots and garlic couscous. I have never ever in my life cooked this fish. So I feel like I'm gonna be learning something new today. I'm looking at the step where it says to cook and you only cook four to six minutes per side. So it seems like it's gonna be a very delicate, looks like a white fish. I think I've had it before. I've just never cooked it. Oh yeah, it's part of the bass family. It has a little fact thing here. It says Baramundi, the firm fleshed fish is a member of the sea bass family and has a unique buttery flavor. I'm excited. So if you can't tell already, HelloFresh is sponsoring this video. I've been working with HelloFresh for years at this point and I love and appreciate when you guys tell me how much you've been using it, how much you love it because of me. Like Advice, my podcast has a Discord chat and people, we have like a specific thread for just food and there's people in there that are like, Kristen, I literally use HelloFresh because of you and they'll send me like the recipes they get each week and like how it turns out. It, it's become such a part of my brand and it's such a dream brand to work with and have worked with after all these years. And I feel like I can't express my gratitude enough. But nonetheless, HelloFresh is a meal delivery service that delivers fresh meals to your doorstep each week. You can also change your frequency. It doesn't have to be every week. If you're out of town, like I am next week, I've made sure to push my delivery date so no food is going rotten on my doorstep. Don't wanna waste anything. All your meals come in this pretty little bag, all portioned out. And every meal comes with this card that gives you step-by-step with pictures. Aww. Why is this the cutest lemon? And then I also keep this bag off to the side and I just use it as a trash bag. They also have so many different types of boxes to choose from. Vegetarian, pescatarian, low carb, kid approved, low calorie. There's so many categories and each week there's 50 plus different recipes to choose from. Or you can also just keep it random and they'll just send you kind of whatever, but I like to go in and pick and choose and you, then you just kind of know what you're eating for the week. I already know the first step is gonna be to wash and prep these. So if you guys wanna check them out, go to hellofresh.com and use code KMACT16 and get up to 16 free meals plus three free gifts. Everybody say thanks, HelloFresh. It looks like I'm gonna be cutting the carrots in diagonals. I need to finally slop, slop, finally chop the cilantro, zest and quarter the lemon, and then mince the garlic. This thing sucks. Also, if you're ever gonna like that, sorry if you hate that noise. Sorry, I'm pointing the knife at you too. Use the back of your knife. Kills me when people are like, I can't even do it, but when people like, you're doling your knife. Or invest in one of these and protect your knives at all costs. You can also pick up way more. Okay, so the oven is preheating 425. 
So I should just toss these with olive oil, salt, and pepper. It seems like the seasoning here is gonna be a lot more simple because I'm making a chimichurri, which I'm so excited for. Love chimichurri. Keeping it simple. I like pepper. Mmm, now the chimichurri. Cilantro. Oh my god. Are you one of those people that like cilantro or does it smell and taste like soap to you? Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad it doesn't smell like soap. Actually, I love cumin so much. Or cumin. I say cumin. Is it, cu is it cumin? It's really good in eggs. Try it on your scrambled eggs. Just do it, it's so good. Lemon smells more like a soap than cilantro does. Two tablespoons of olive oil. If you know me, I'm gonna eyeball it. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Also, when you're done with your lemon rinds, put them down your garbage disposal. Only small ones, nothing crazy. I don't wanna be the reason you break your garbage disposal, but it like, it freshens them up a lot. For compost, I think when we move to New York, I wanna get like a compost bin of some sort and use it. So if you have any favorite compost bins, let me know. A pinch of garlic. Oh, I forgot to mince this. Before I do that, I'm gonna throw these in 25 minutes. Oh my God, okay. I'm heartbroken. If you watch my cooking videos, you usually see the black garlic mincer I have. And I rave about it every time. I'm like, oh, if you're gonna have one tool in your kitchen, it's gotta be this one, which I still stand by. But the one I had was so much better, but it broke. Oh, so satisfying. Okay. <coughs> Pepper. That's done. Now let's make the couscous. Bring it to a boil, reduce to a simmer. Carrots are almost done, couscous is cooking. Now let's tackle this bad boy. So it doesn't say, but I'm assuming skin side down because that's how I do any other fish. Because it kind of, the heat has a lot more to break through. Maybe I should go two at a time. I don't want to like, overpower it. Oh, perfect timing. I already see some of the thinner parts getting like that opaque color. I look pretty good. Okay, my favorite part. The assembly, everything looks really good though. The fishies, fire, it's hella fluffy. That's been marinating. These have been done, but I was just keeping them warm. This one for later because Alex ate already. But Liana, would you like to come try this? Absolutely. That looks so good. Oh my god, couscous. I haven't had couscous that's so long. This is Baramundi. Yeah. Baramundi. Oh, I've seen it on like menus, but I've never. I think I've had it. it says it, it's something like a sea bass. Mm. Carrots are divine. Oh. Oh, it does like sea bass. Mm hmm. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like it. I was scared it was gonna be like really fishy. Cause I feel like white fish is immediately like more fishy than like salmon. Yep, this is so good. This is good. Like, it might be up there for me. Mm -hmm. Some of my favorite Hello Fresh meals. I agree. It's perfectly balanced too. Yeah. The, like you have crunch, you have medi medium crunch, mm -hmm. and then soft. It's small and crunch. And then flavor, yeah. And like herbs, fresh mm -hmm. herbs. Acid, there's a lot of lemon. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love this. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. I genuinely wouldn't I would, change anything. No, me either. I would buy this for a lot of money. Right. 
I pay like twenty six dollars at a restaurant for That's this. That's what I was gonna say. Twenty six specifically. Mm -hmm. Twenty eight maybe. I'll leave a good tip too. Yeah. Let your food cool before you put it in the fridge. After finishing that meal, Leanna agrees too. I've come to the to, to do to the conclusion <laughs> that that is my number one favorite meal. That beats the zucchini honey flatbread, and that has been in the number one spot for like three years now. Mm. I love food. <laughs>